sine theta equals negative one over root two. And theta lies between zero and 360. And we need to find the two values of theta that make this true. Now we don't have access to a calculator, so how do we figure out what the value of theta is? Well, there is a special triangle that will help. It's an isosceles right-angled triangle. We have measurements of one for the base here and one for the height. And using Pythagoras, we can cut at the hypotenuse as root two. Because this is an isosceles triangle, we know that these two angles are 45 degrees. Now using simple trigonometry, we know that sine theta, sine of the angle, is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, opposite in this case is one, and the hypotenuse is root two. So we know that sine of the angle, which is 45 degrees, is one over root two. So let's draw in the sine wave on a little graph here. Let's mark in 45 degrees. So if we go across from 45 where it hits the curve here, we know that this point here is one over root two. And we can draw in that line. We can actually see there's two solutions here. We get the 45 degree solution. And there's also another solution here of 135 degrees. Now that's the solutions when we want one over root two what we require is negative one over root two. In other words, there's a line down here going across from this point. And let me draw that in. So as we can see, it intersects at this point here and this point here, that is 225 degrees and that is 315 degrees. So theta is equal to 225 degrees and 300 and 15 degrees. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.